Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to more Crash Bandicoot. Last time, I think I lost my absolutely ever level mind. But it is now a new day. Full of opportunities to ruin a good day. We're doing relic runs. Relic time trials, whatever you want to call them. And I'm ready to just be upset forever. Especially because we're on road to nowhere at this point. Even though I'm surprised they even did that in the first place. That, to be honest, damn it, right away. I opened my mouth. But yeah, the uh Yeah, this this level I'm a little hesitant on cuz I'll do stupid things like that. You know what? Let's grab this really quick cuz just in case I goof. I got to remember my uh cuz it's been cuz it's been roughly a week since I last played. So I've got to remember a lot of my uh my timings on stuff. I'll get all. I'll get it all. Get, oh, Coco. I, I was stuck. <laughs> I was actually stuck. I don't believe it. No, I need. I need that just in case. Maybe on a good run, I won't need it. But right now, I need it. I yeah, but I actually got stuck underneath the geometry there, which is a little worrying. So. Damn it. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this with you with me because I gotta get the thought process out. So, temple, Ru temple ruins. That level that I di did uh did the other day. I was a little impressed with myself, if I can tote my own horn, because I was watching back like when I was editing everything down, like I was moving in perfect. I was moving in like perfect 90 degree angles. I should have jumped. I was moving like perfect 90 degree angles, which I'm kind of doing right now, but I'm doing that with the thumbstick, by the way. I'm using that with an I'm doing that with an analog stick. I'm not doing that with a D-pad. Which is a little scary, if I being honest, that I'm getting perfect right angles when I'm using not the preferred control method. But yeah, I mean Again, it's just a little terrifying, is all I gotta say. Because I should not be that accurate with something that's meant to go three, well, virtually 360 degrees of, of, of not separation, movement. And now we hit the point where I'm hard focusing and I probably should have cut for my own sanity. You know, we'll take the hit. I got that Aku Aku for a reason. I'll take that hit. And we'll move it. We'll move at awkward angles just to help offset my own stupid. God, these jumps. Okay, just gotta be brave. Not brave enough. Damn it. Only sapphire, damn it! <sighs> Only sapphire, huh? All right, I completed it. I completed it, and I'm curious what gold looks like. I'm incredibly curious what gold looks like. 
I think this is gonna be one of those few times where I deserve the right to say no. <laughs> Just because Road to Nowhere is a is not a good level. <laughs> Like, for, during that run, you were seeing me swerve left and right to kind of correct my jumps a bit. So I'm going to just, I'm going to reserve the right right now and just say, no, I'm not going to go for gold. But, I mean, I will still attempt to go for gold on almost any other level I attempt here. It's just, it's just that one. It was literally that level. Ugh. And, and, and I know I've got, uh, I know I've got, uh, bridge to nowhere or whatever that other bridge level is coming up I'm well aware I have that we'll see what happens at that point but like that was about as perfect as I could get it I could tell that was about as perfect as I could get it without uh, uh what is it that was about as perfect as I could get all that entirely without like using the rope running strategy if that even helps in any regard You know, I've been to this, I've done this stage for the color gem at one point. I'm not a stranger to, I've, I've now learned what, what it is to stay perfect, so to say. It's, damn it. I've now learned the quote unquote strat to staying perfect on these stages. It's literally just to never stop holding down. Like maybe like slight course corrections, but don't even adjust yourselves if, adjust yourself if you're like, think you're going to miss the round the uh the edge of the circular platforms there because good chances as long as you get a full hop you're not gonna miss it i say good chance there, there's still a chance you can miss it as you see me course correcting in air constantly but like i'm getting ahead like i'm kind of getting ahead of the boulder here i say that and then i immediately hit a blockade but like i'm slowly get ahead getting ahead of the boulder just because I'm doing nothing but holding down and nothing but so like you barely outrun the boulder I'm gonna need all that time I don't know if the TNT would have blown it up and counted but I'm not gonna take that risk if it does let me know because I guess I could use that knowledge in the future I'm surprised didn't fall into the pit there Go, 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 go. You got this. Oh, boy. I'm getting, like, barely touched on some of these blockades. Blockades be damned. I'm leaving. Oh, boy. It's coming. It's a coming. Uh, done. Okay. That's gold. Okay, good. First, if I say first time. First time gold. Second time gold scooter. Come on now. Come on now, man. You know, you know better. But I will still say that I got it. I got it, and I'm pleasantly surprised with that. And now we get to go do whole hog. Man, I I need to remember to... Oh, right, I have to be crashed. I was like, wait, why did I switch? I did press R. I did play, press the trigger. I gotta do whole hog. The second and... The last and second of the hog levels. Where's the timer? There it is. Let's begin. By somehow not getting hit by that first set of spikes. So, oh boy, I'm not, yeah, I was supposed to say, I just witnessed what was happening with that jump as soon as I did it. Um, the, uh, what is it? I know the first, uh, hog level I did, I'm pretty sure everybody has told me at this point of, oh, if you just hit that one, uh, one second crate, you're, you would have gotten the gold. And I, I have no doubt in my mind that that is the case. Hit it, hit them all. Hit them all. If I had just hit that singular one second crate, I probably could have gotten the platinum on the first hog level, but I don't trust myself. Also, that lasted a while. Crash, where are you going? Okay, one last try with you guys here, with you guys with me. Something tells me the game is. Something tells me this game is a faithful recreation of the original Crash Bandicoot, but something also tells me that. A few things are not perfect. Not a perfect recreation, we'll say. One thing I will give the fact that I'm on these hog levels is that the uh, you are consistently 
on the same time, no matter how much you hold up or not. Oh god, I'm gonna do it again. Oh god, I jumped over it. Listen, if you'll count that as a miracle, I'll count that as a miracle. Right? Yeah, left, right, left, right. Go, piggy. Listen, we both live if you do if you do as I say and not as I do. Clock? I, clock? Are, I was about to say, Clock, are you okay? Platinum relics are nice. <laughs> we'll call that a makeup for the fact that I'm not going to go back to high road. Or bridge to nowhere. Whatever that level was I did, did five minutes ago. A, that's my short-term memory at work. And B, that's how much I wish to forget what that level is. I'm going to have to go look just to quell my own scent. Road to nowhere, okay. Uh, I'm probably going to regret this, but let's go ahead and do Sunset Vista today as well. I know I know. I already said, I'm just going to do three. And, and I already also said that I'm going to immediately go back on that word. Alright, let's begin. But yeah, I'm kind of... I'm starting to get kind of a... No, it's gonna... Yeah, I was about to say, it's gonna come out right as I go. You know what? That was worth it in the end. I'll take that. Oh, God. Those lizards, man. Their physics are like... Their, the physics on those standing lizards are so weird. It's just... Like, it's like you spit. Oh god, that was a bad idea. It's like you spit. It's like if even if you spin them and defeat them, they have like the properties of rubber on them, so they just kick you away no matter what. And I should have waited a second. I've gotten really good at my short hops, by the way. Okay, go. And we can curve that back in. I'm some surprised I didn't get hurt and all that. Yeah, like that. Like. I spun him, and I didn't hit left at all. I didn't hit left at all in that entire exchange there a second ago, but it still bounced me left. Wait a second. Now we go. Good enough. That was actually a risky play. Uh, risky plays everywhere. I don't know what the timing is going to be on this. I don't know what the timing is going to be on all this. Bounce. Fine, I'll take the hit. That's fine. I'm just going to have to be a little bit patient. Ride the platforms as, the, as recommended. And not do dumb things. I've been doing this same stage for over an hour. The same stage. Typically what's causing me to fail is something randomly going out of cycle in the first sixth of the stage. It just randomly decides, nope, I'm going to go in this cycle now. If the whole game went on the same cycle every time without changing, I wouldn't be angry right now. But randomly somewhere in the system clock it says no make this variable different this time it screws up my whole run so i have to sit here like i'm playing a gotcha game hoping for that one in one hundred thousand chance to get the perfect run that's off cycle that's off cycle off cycle so it means this platform over here is going to be off cycle yep Why does the jump that just worked half a second ago suddenly not work? I'm tired of being RNG'd out of progress. If you're going to make a system, make it consistent. That's all I ask. I don't ask for it to be perfect. 
I just want it to be consistent because you consistently want to make make it so the challenge is to complete it in a very short amount of time. So consistently make it work. So randomly that just stopped working too. That better be it. Oh, that's a platinum. Okay, I may have pushed myself too hard if that's a platinum. I'm still mad. I'm leaving in all those parts where I was cursed, by the way. Well, bleeping them, of course, but I'm leaving all that in. As I said, I'm going to repeat myself during that bad segment. You can ask me to do something consistently and do it consistently perfect. You can do that all day from dawn to dusk. But when you keep changing the rules of what consistent and perfect is, then you need to stop asking me to do that. I realize I'm just shouting into the dark at this point, but it, I, I gotta look at this. 
Yeah, it's been two and a half hours since I started this stage for the time trial. I am finally done with it. I understand difficult, but no single stage in your game should take two and a half hours. Even if you're remaking it and adding in a new feature, you should you should tailor the new feature to fit the stage. Anyway, I'm on a rant. I'm going to set everything down and walk away for a minute. Everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot. Next time, we're going on to the machinery levels, which may be faster, but will probably give me just as much headache. I'll see you folks then. Take care.